That song is something else. From a game I have no idea about. Like, I, I can't even tell what the game is about from, like, the portrait. It's called Evo. Search for Eden. Or Eden. Whatever. And it's the final boss. And there is, like, some dinosaurs in the portrait. And, and like, it says, the time has come. Action-packed prehistoric adventure game spread out over <laughs> 4.5 billion years. And it's from Super Nintendo, made by Enix. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> no idea what that, that it's about. But it has a good song. Which I actually took from... It's another one of those songs that I took from. I want to be the guy. <laughs> actually got to know a lot of soundtracks because of that game. How's it going? The very weird game, as I recall. I see. Let's see how much I can speedrun today. On these clothes. <laughs> these clothes are cool, but they are not exactly the most comfortable clothes. Forget it. So we'll see. Thanks. So yesterday we got... What do we got? Oh, hang on. Actually, I should go back. That's a local recording. We got Game Awards. <laughs> I have nothing to say about that. I look a little bit of it. What What do you say there? Dummy. Come on. No, 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 no. Forget it. Kind of a joke, Game Awards, I would say. Although, I think It Takes Two won the Game of the Year. Like, fuck the Oscars on that. You won everything? I see. I think it did. So I, I think that that was kind of a surprise. But yeah, near <laughs> winning best score, of course. Oh, okay, that's new. Never seen that one. Grabbing the ladder. I'm alright with that. Forget it. Yeah, what what sucks though is the guy didn't say the version. So I think it doesn't count. Like what do you mean you're not saying the entire name? He did it on the nominations, like the first time. But not on the big stage. Which is kind of funny, like, I feel like a lot of categories is just like, here are the nominees, and here's who wins, and, and that's about it. Like, they don't even... It's almost like it doesn't matter who wins, you know? I mean, it technically it's better that way. Uh, because, you know, a lot of people go there. And the idea is that not just the ones who win, it's important, right? But at the same time, if it's really not that important, how about we just don't do it then? And just make the thing to celebrate games. Okay, this is weird. 
kill it. I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna keep going. It's just tired. Yes. How you doing, Bagiman? Thank you for the good luck. It's not actually a dress. I feel like that happens a lot with almost every clothes I have. A lot of people think those are dresses. A lot of things that might look like dresses are just shirts that I have. This one is a corset. Corset. So it's just top. Doesn't have anything below. I I have something below. Spoilers, but the clothes doesn't. This one came with an asymmetrical skirt, which I haven't been able to use very much. And I'm not using it right now, by the way. Is the perfect for Twitch Cup? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can get banned by stuff that is not being shown, though. Finally. And besides, to be banned on Twitch, you have to be reported by a lot of people. Not a lot of people watch this channel, so... <laughs> I can probably do porn and nobody will care. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Train me. That's me. Like I, I take those. It's my fault. For playing with a stick. Is what I pay for it. I just don't like using crosses. I play the entire Celeste with a stick. I don't care. It just made a gold on keys. What's that shit I do? Uh, one of the reasons... Like, I guess I thought one of the reasons was because of the octagon. Octagon. Of... Uh, the GameCube stick. But on second thought, I play Spelunky with a stick too, so... Ooh, a little bit late. The whole jar of pickles had been eaten. Nice. How are you doing, Watan? It's a fancy way of of saying that you did it. You know, there's this thing on certain languages where you say that something, a thing, did something. Whereas on other languages, you say that you did th something. So you know, when, when you say they had been eaten, it's like they eat themselves. I think you can't quite say that on every language. 
And I also think it's not very common on English. Or maybe it's a cultural thing. Because I heard... I remember hearing... A cousin talking to me about this. Where she had a friend. That she was impressed. By the time she lived in Chile, she was like... I, I think she was from the United States, I don't, I don't remember. Um, but she was impressed by how we blame things for our mistakes. Like, oh, the ditch broke. You know, like it fell off and it broke. No, like you broke it, you know, right? <laughs> but she was saying that it wasn't that common where she leave. Like, you, you wouldn't just say that things would do stuff by themselves. It's a weird topic. And this is a weird level. I fucked up my strat at the end. My chat was dead. Did you hear porn? <laughs> Uh, yes, you hear, you hear right. I was saying that I can probably do porn on Twitch and I wouldn't be banned because to be banned on Twitch you actually need to like you, you need people reporting your channel. Suck. You know, I usually talk about porn on my stream. Can't admit guilt. Hey, this is going faster and I can read. It's all good though. There's no fire. Thanks. No butts have been burned. I'm talking about Olaf's butt. Sometimes gets burned there. I know it's like a little more polite in some other languages. It's a little strange with some stuff for me in Spanish. Interesting for sure, people could always click subscribe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean it they're close together. Thank you for the good luck. I know how you read anything while you control the three characters. Me neither. There's some places where I just need to hold a direction, like there, for instance. But I do read chat a lot at the risk of killing the run. I'm relatively alright with that. Okay, let's see if I remember this part that we studied the other day. Okay, so we get this one. I didn't remember. It's fine. What's a good backup? Exactly, exactly what you didn't do, Amber. <laughs> Was a meta joke. Very meta on your part. Ooh, suck. This ending sucks very much. Very, very much. I hate the ending of this level very much. Oh, and you have the last one. But that just tells you how bad it was in my PvE because that was bad.
of Italia, right? Resetting here. Okay. The game doesn't want me to reset yet. Take the L with this guy. Actually, take fall damage there with Scorch. You're not cautious. I know what is this, but I have my horse die. What fast traveling? Wait, what? What are we talking about now? You mean like a like a real horse? Undo it. Skyrim? I see. I had no idea there was fast traveling in Skyrim. Fast traveling in real life? Yeah. It's like an airplane, isn't it? Okay, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Forget it. Walking around is a lot more fun, to be fair. Make your horse float in the sky. Any other plays on my messages would be sure. Fuck, okay. Um I guess your sentences in the chat so she can actually read. <laughs> yeah. Which is the only place where your mes messages are long? Interesting. That's dinner. Yeah, it's still fast, exactly. Like, does does anyone like ever travel by boat? Like transatlantic shit. Feels like it would take forever. I went on ferry once and I hate it. How much distance? Like I've been on ferries, but very, very, very like not long distance. Just a ferry. I see. We're from England to France. Okay. I have no idea how much is that, but...
<sighs> Distance. What do you give me this on miles? What is a mile? Does anyone know what a mile is? It says 20 miles. I'm up, wait, what? On extreme side of Chile? Yeah. Yeah, me, same. Because on the south of Chile, the... Um, 32 kilometers? Okay. I went to Chiloé on, on ferry. But I don't remember from, from where. Was it like... Temuco? Or is that completely wrong? <laughs> Puerto Isen? No. No, I don't think so. Forget it. I don't remember. Puerto Mon, Puerto Mon, there you go. I was confused Temuco with Puerto Mon. I don't know why. Distance. Wait, is that correct? That might not be correct. Huh? Puerto Barras, maybe? No, they're pretty close. Or, or not. Why are they showing so close? That feels wrong. Fuck. I don't even know. Doesn't matter. Is the quiet not sure it would like as much if it was crowded? This is the most boring thing. <laughs> Worse than a school trip? I mean, you have to be with someone. Barroom doors didn't even work. Yeah, it kind of sucks. For me, pretty much every trip, it's boring. If you go alone. Forget it. I mean... Well, it depends, because so, on some trips you can, like, watch stuff. You know, like, like the countryside and such. I, I do like the emptiness of the sea. But I would assume it gets old kind of quickly. So I would prefer the emptiness of the sea with someone to talk about it. Why can't hit this up? Okay, that was nice though. Like trains just don't like people. You mean like strangers or people in general? This is really weird. All I've got that. I don't like this. The noise. Forget it. But noise in general or specific noises? I know I'm being annoying. I know I'm being annoying, it's just because I used to say the same, but then I realized it's just certain noises, like the dogs outside. But if I'm on a party with friends, with good music, I am like totally fine with the noise. Until they put fucking reggaeton. 
And then I want to kill myself. Ah, oh, come on, just hit the thing. <laughs> Please. Yeah, die. Why are the first level so hard? It shouldn't be. <laughs> With the people I just think it's our sitting across from someone you don't know. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were sleeping. Yeah, that's why it's cool. Like, across there could be a, a couple of strangers, but then aside you, there could be a non-stranger. And, and then you might not care about the stranger. But I'm, that's why I'm asking too, because maybe you, you still care. What I notice is that I have a better time. If I have unknown people close, I know why this swap is so hard. It's because it's different from what I've been doing. There you go. Stupid stick. At least we cancel the dialogue. Kids are horrible, I agree. The eating and whispering noises, okay. Yeah, kids are pretty annoying. My sister works with kids. She likes it. She's a t-shirt. I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> what vampire, vampire are we getting? How do you whisper? Uh, you talk very quietly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You talk like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you don't like. Like a ghost. Don't quote me on that, I don't know how ghosts actually talk. a goal with the elevator like my whisper maybe I should do ASMR What's the deal with shrooms and garlics? It's because we are on um, Transylvania. And so garlics are food against vampires. You gotta eat your vegetables to be healthy. And the rest are ingredients for the witch. Or her warp spell. 
She gets high on on shrooms. And that gives her enough power to make the spell. I'm not really sure what the eye and the, the bad is for. you will die. Fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck you. Has anyone been on shrooms? I haven't. I haven't really done a whole lot of drugs myself. Missing nine jump. He might drop. I'm definitely getting better at backups. Interesting. A friend of mine was searching for mushrooms. I worked food, so everyone around me was on a million things. I we'll have to keep things working. Wait, that's how it works? I had no idea that food workers were into a lot of things. I press Y, I'm pretty sure. Like, I unpress it and then press it, but I guess I unpress it for less than one cycle. Forget it. Food service is an interesting industry. Okay. Yeah, my sister was on a little bit of food industry for a little bit. You work on a, a pizzeria, a, a pizza place, but she was a bartender, not a chef. Don't pick mushrooms, <laughs> hold this number instead. You kind of missed it, but it was bad for you? Why? If you missed it... Sounds like it was good. Well, I guess you can miss bad things too. Sometimes I do. This is the thing, like, when you say you miss something, do you mean, like... Would you do it again? Would you rather go back? Or it's just like a good experience, like a good memory. How are you doing, Alexa? Thank you for the good luck.
to an injured. Well, the other strat is really ingrained into my brain. And, and brain. That's how I save the second on the IL. I don't know how to answer that. That's fair. Yeah, I do remember my sister talking about chefs like drinking a lot on the kitchen. Where she work at least. Ayahuasca. There's a lot of that in Chile. I never do drugs. I thought you drink a lot, Bakuman. That is drugs. I'm sorry to... To spoil you. <laughs> so it is tobacco. Oh, this is so bad. This is really bad. Even caffeine is a drug. And the thing about those more, like, casual or social war drugs is that people, people underestimate them. Because nobody takes ayahuasca every day, you know? That's the thing. It's usually for, like, a trip or something. A call on the other side, there is people that take it every day. And that's how you you can get problems later. Same with smoking. How are you doing, Goofy? Forget it. Have Seratul. <laughs> I got 15 years old. I escaped from my home and I did go on a party close. When they give me a box of cigarettes and smoke just one time, oh, I see. Yeah, I've never smoked um, tobacco. I smoked Juana twice. Didn't do anything to me. So I didn't do that again. Fuck you. Forget it. Yeah, and one of those was a submarine, even. I think people say that should be extra working. Just sneezing. A two no effect? Look at that. I'm surprised. I feel like... It probably has no effect on a lot of people, but maybe not a lot of people say that. Because of Juana being a, a very social drug among youngers. It. 
but it, it might be more common than what we think. But I was kind of drunk. I have a lot of friends that they actually like Juana more when they're drunk. Like they, they say the effect is better for them. I'm impressed that everyone knows what I'm talking about. Just by calling Juana. I'm that kind of drunk that speaks a lot. Worse than sober. Yeah, those can be a little bit annoying. I mean, I've never been drunk with you, so I, I have no idea. Suck. Having such a dif difficult time on these levels. I don't even know what kind of drunk I'm, I am, or I was. I haven't drank in a lot of time. Oh, you have the eye. Interesting. Uh, I have no idea how what that's gonna look like. We might be behind here. Um. Whatever. That was ass. We never had the chance to drink? Yeah, I guess. Maybe on 10 though, but... I wasn't drinking, really. I haven't drank since... Like, 2014. With, like, one exception, I guess. Maybe, like, two years ago. But it was, like, one glass, and I actually hated. I grab the thing. Why don't you grab it with your left? Then it was expensive. Yeah. But isn't it like that with every bar? Like, I feel it's only not expensive when you drink in someone else's house. And you buy something. Somewhere. On a mini market or whatever. Do you guys drink alone? No, I, I never drink. Drank alone. I used to drink in parties when I was younger. I tried. Interesting decision. Like there's, for example, there's a, I, I feel like a lot of people like beer, like enjoy drinking beer, like enjoy the taste of it when it's cold on like a hot day. I hate beer. <laughs> But for those people, I'm like, I get why would you drink alone, you know? Because it's like, it's, it's refreshing, right? Because you like it. I never like any drink, like the taste of it. 
So I always did it just for the social thing. You know, because everyone else did it. Yeah, that was a little bit short. Oh, that's weird. One bad swap. That's all it takes. Ah, fuck. Almost late on that. Got the later cycle. You get two cycles for it. I also hate wine. I I drank wine once in my life. And I hate it so much. Although, this guy just got here. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I don't know how it's... Is it called communion? In English? It's one of the sacraments that you do. That Christians do. Or Catholics. Back then. Before I was an atheist, I did that for no reason. <laughs> for Catholic, yeah, that's the time where I, I got the the body of God <laughs> with wine, with the blood of God, I guess, of Christ. He stated like shit. I don't really know why Christ want you to eat him. This is where I lost all my Christian followers. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, let's change the topic. Now I'm talking about drugs. Oh, sucker. rough rough level hate me sing that uh, 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 uh. Love to have some corner correction on this game. The PV was also bad. How about those cactuses? <laughs> yeah. Christian cactuses. I need to get some substrate. I haven't bought substrate. Which is a fancy way of saying dirt for plants.
So some of them are without a pot yet because of that. They're hanging on. Like they still need to dry the lower part that got caught. It's not that big of a deal. I hate when that happens. It's so unfair, you suck. Let's see if all of dice. scary like for one second I thought I didn't got the, the platform skip Do you want to see those plans? Yeah, I've been like, I've been doing some. It all depends on how my voice is at the end of the stream. Cause I talk a lot during during those. Nice. No wizard to worry about. Yeah, I wish I could talk more. I just run out of steam. Ah, uh, that was weird. Whatever. How do we do this? Let's do it like this. Such a weird sequence. Okay, we're gonna do this this time. And now the block. We are being nice. Uh, okay. I mean, sure. Probably the weirdest two that's three that I played. Turnaround is more precise than it looks. The parents move a lot to escape from the fucking guy. You mean from dictatorship or what? I had a bunch of family members that... Ooh! That's not Eric. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was a little bit of a brain fart right there. Forget it. Yeah, I have family members that leave the country back then. And others that fight it here. Fight it. It's the new, the new bear. But... New past tense. Give me a second.
or go for the next one. I watch The Queen's Gambit, that series on Netflix. Because, like, okay, so the story goes like this. The championship, there's the championship, the world's championship of chess, right? I had a friend that usually when the world's championship happens, he always talks about it. And so then it's when I remember about chess. And that I, I still hold some interest in that game. And it's kind of interesting just to know a little bit about it from time to time. So long, long ago, I remember having another friend talking to me about a very skillful lady on chess and how she like broke a lot of records and stuff. In regards to chess. And, but I couldn't remember her name. So what happened... That was years ago, by the way. So... What happened now is that in the stream of the championship... Really, he's just not there. Uh, there was a lady uh, co uh, being one of the commentators of the championship. She's Judith... Judith Polgar. And that's why I remember. Yeah, this is the lady that my friend told me about. Which is like the strongest women in chess, like in, in the history. And also the youngest grandmaster of all time. Even younger than, I, I don't remember who had the record before. And so, after that, I rem remembered, oh, there was this series, like I remember, a lot of people talk about the Queen's Gambit, it talks about the story of a lady on chess, being pretty good at the game, and all that. And so, like I think it's partially inspired on Judith. It's, of course, it's not her story, because I think Judith is from Hungary. While Harmon, the protagonist of Queen's Gambit, is from US. Because there is a whole, like... I mean, it's fiction, of course. Um, but yeah, there's like a whole narrative. It's also on different time. Because it's like more on the 60s. Whereas, like, Judith today has, like, 45, so I guess she wasn't even born. And this series also has, like, a whole narrative about US versus, versus Rus Russia and all that. But I think it's handled in a, in a very clever way. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, the thing is, that also happened, right? Like, that also happened in chess back then, you know, with all the Bobby Fischer and then Kasparov and stuff back then. And, of course, with the war, there was, like, this arm race in all fronts, including chess, you know, to demonstrate who is the more intelligent country back then, right? So I feel like they they grabbed that narrative. 
but turn it around a little bit in a more clever way because I feel like at the end, a lot of the characters kind of just show that they're more there for the game and for their passion and for the struggle, despite of the big forces forcing them to do stuff. Especially with the protagonists. And yeah, like, the actress is amazing. Like, the series, I also like how it handles, like, a little bit of neurodivergent stuff. Because, you know, it's chess. We all know chess is full of, you know, neurodivergent people. Nerds uh, and, and stuff like that and so there's a lot of parts that I feel like to the untrained eye might look like awkward and they were awkward But I also feel like they are masterfully acted in that sense because I've been in situations like that and you can smell that awkwardness and I was able to smell it too on the series, so it was pretty pretty cool. A lot of their relationships between the different characters. Because it's also very subtle. Because that's not the point of the thing, and I... Like, the point is not to say, oh, these people are nerds. <laughs> but they are nerds, right? And so... It is a very subtle thing on the acting... Of certain scenes and certain interactions. That for me, it, it felt very real. Yeah, like, that's the other thing, like, today you could say, like, maybe if I'm a psychologist, I could do some sort of, um, analysis of whether this character might be, you know, on the spectrum or whatever. The thing is, I feel like it's also clever in that sense, because being different times, uh, nobody knew a whole lot about that, and so you were just someone ex strange, you know? Someone weird. And... I feel like that's even more powerful, because it doesn't, like, emphasize it very much, and instead... It, it like... It tries to just portray it in a more human way. I guess I can move Fang a little bit there. If that happens. Uh, 
Now Fang needs to take the hit. Like Senua? Hero that. Ooh, okay. That's rude. Vampire. Of course, the other amazing thing about the series is, you know, all the, like, the more feminist lecture. Or more than feminist, really, I would say feminine. You know, because of all that it means to be on a space that was fundamentally masculine at the time. Even today, I would say. Especially at the time. And how despite that, the series still manages to make like meaningful relationships. Um, between the, the women cast, you know? Even more so that Star Wars, you know, stuff like that. Which is like in the future. Yo, no, no, how's he going? Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, and that's why I hate The Fantastic Woman. As a movie. <laughs> because it doesn't do everything I just said. Instead, it's just Agwar for the sake of being Agwar. <laughs> but hey, I can't cheat on, on that moving forever. It's way too pretentious. And he also tries... I feel like it tries to build um, a narrative that is kind of correct. You know, like the idea of that narrative is correct, but the execution is very bad, I feel. Because that's the thing, like, yeah, Daniela Vega is, is an actress, you know, and, like, she's, she's, she might be able to represent that, you know, but the movie wasn't made by a trans person, <laughs> you know.
And I have the feeling that it also didn't have a whole lot of review from more queer people. That's just my guess. I don't want to shit on anyone about it, but because maybe it had. I just don't know. Ooh, I'm dead. I'm dead. What kind of narrative? Like, if the war against me. Everyone hates me. That kind of nar narrative. Which is true when you're trans. But it really matters how you portray that. Because there is a very subtle line between I... Like, the word legitimately is unfair with me and I am just whining all the day, you know? So you gotta be cautious on how you portray that. So you don't misrepresent what actually happens. Plus, and this is look, like completely apart from all the queer stuff, the movie is just kind of boring. <laughs> like even if you take all the narrative, all the activism thing out, the movie just has a lot of walking in the night on Santiago without saying anything. It's not really a metaphor of anything. It's just Marina walking around somewhere. <laughs> and then there's like a kind of a surrealist scene that doesn't really connect to anything. Uh, it's like fancy. For the sake of being fan- I don't know. <laughs> there's a couple of good shots. There's some very cool shots in the movie. I especially like the shot of Marina being on the top of the car. You know, like, king of the world stuff, queen of the world particularly. Um, but I feel like you can't just build your narrative with shots. I mean, the shots are important. But they're there too. I mean, you actually can do it. No, no, you, you can do it. But it's better if that's not the only thing holding on. Holding it, you know? It's a walking simulator. A little bit. It's a little bit of a walking simulator. <laughs> On some parts. And it's... Listen, it's not that bad. Like, compared to stuff that is really bad. Like, a lot of it, you also have to take it with the grain of salt of, you know, it won an Oscar. And it's something a lot of people associate with you just because you're trans. And so, that's why the salt comes, you know? Because, of course, there's worse movies out there. Of course. Agree. Agree, but... Also, there's like better movies on Chile that didn't get any Oscars. Fuck the Oscars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Why do I keep trying doing this shit? Stop that. Oh, that's what. Yeah.
Sam? I don't know that movie. To be fair, I actually don't know a whole lot of movies. I know Alexa watch it, watches a lot of movies. Interesting screenshots on Twitter, yeah. Like the, the crap lady. Oh god. Oh god. Watch maybe too many movies. <laughs> you know, sometimes we, we discuss with my dad because he talks about like in the table during the lunch or something. Like I watched this movie that was so bad and he talks about how bad the movie was and I'm, I'm like, why did you finish the movie if it was so bad? And it's like, there's a little bit of this masochistic thing of, of watching the bad movie. And also there is a little bit of, you know, it's what it's on the TV right now. More of a curiosity, yeah, a little bit. You just need to know how bad it is, yeah. Okay, okay, I got lucky with the night at least. Back up. I'm very afraid of these guys, sir. friend we had the habit to watch bad movies yeah I feel like doing it with someone else can be very very fun
But I also do think, like, I talk about this a lot, but... And I, I say this as an ignorant person. Because I don't know exactly what it is, but... I feel like there's bad and bad movies. There's, like, bad movies that are painful to watch. And bad movies that are funny to watch, you know? And I don't really know what it is. Like, what, what makes the difference? Because I'm not a critic and I'm not a, you know, director. So I just feel it when I see the movie. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Thanks. Almost jump with Y. Yeah, that's Sarah Tool. The dog emote. Right? Fuck you. I really want to kill you. Any extra damage on these guys right now. This this guy can take it, don't worry. Try to argue on the middle of movies. There's people, there's two kinds of people. The people that like to discuss in the middle of the movie. And the people that can't take it. Like, yeah, of course that's an exaggeration, but <laughs> what I what I think happens to me is if I don't like whatever I'm watching, I'm totally alright just discussing and interrupting it. If I'm really into it, I probably don't want to do that. Unless I'm alone, so I can do it with my own pace, maybe. Because I do interrupt what I see a lot. Zero, zero. I didn't die this time.
content. I guess 1.5 because one hit wasn't all off, maybe. The more I get into the game, the less I can reach out, by the way. Just for you to know. You can still keep walking, don't worry about it. Please, 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 please. That was a good idea. I don't usually do that. Okay, drones back at least. I expect to lose time here though. That guy was nice. Three frames to do that one. Plus a lot of deceiving pixels.
Okay, you can take that. That was close. Like, the wizard was there. I despawned it somehow. But yeah, we're behind. Kinda sucks. Yeah. Like, why did my shield... I have a shield. You, you, you're not allowed to hit me. I'm surprised by those spikes. Oh. Not sure about that. It's so real on this stage. All right, first, well, not first, but one of the important reset points right here. Uh, okay. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of these two. Uh, I think I have to reset. Let's play it out, anyways. Uh, that is really, really bad. Like I'm, I'm not even sure what I have to do here. That's the one thing I think I've never played with. Bylog with 1 HP. I don't even know what you're supposed to do here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is like really bad. Okay, uh, whatever. Um, just in case. Like it should be alright, but let's just. That's a new way to die. <laughs> Remember people, there's always a new way to die. When you think you figure out every way, there's always a, a new way.
Yeah, that's on jail time. Go for a VRV. And then... I guess I, I'll, I'll talk about the VRV. And talk a, a little bit about it. All right, I'm gonna put a song that I heard on Say State Twitter. So stick around, and when I'm back, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about this BRV. And I mean the picture, the art, and hopefully more runs. Very back.
I love when the bass goes Exactly. Yeah, that's 911 from Adam Needy. I got that from Safe State Twitter. He he always has or no, I'm sorry, day, right? I think Safe State is day. My my apologies. Um they always put great music. Uh on, on the clips. Yeah. Yes, if there's all, all, always putting clips of Link plays, usually, with amazing music in the background, usually. It's a melee player. Uh, okay, give me a second here. Your ears are not adjust to get bass lines. Chances are you're you're not using phones. His phones definitely help on that. All right, so you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about this. What what is this? Um, I guess I have this. Yeah, that works a little bit. Okay, let me hide the thingy. So we can talk about the other thingy. If I put it like here. Huh? It's there. And then I just this. Is there, and, and I think that works. Good. Now let me open the other sheet. All right. So I made a commission. This is a commission from a friend. Um, imagine we have infinite, <laughs> yeah, that, that would be optimal. That's like, you know, the, the, it's like chess too. Like we came back to chess, how you do like infinite simulations and, and put, you put computers playing infinite games of chess and that's how you perfect chess. This is how you perfect TLV2. TLV I think I'm fine with just one. I'm kind of a mess. I don't, I don't know if, if the work can take more than one. Anyway, I did, um, I requested a commission from one of my friends, which is, uh, a friend of mine and he worked, let's put it there. He worked on my video game as an artist. So. I'll start with this. So this isn't really like the commission, but the commission was a kind of a photograph or a setup. It, it's kind of my setup. It's it's the BRB you already saw. And <coughs> he wanted to get some confidence with the things that were on the setup. That's why he did this right here, which is just kind of experimenting with forms and stuff uh with the different consoles and things that were in the setup. So this is just like random stuff. And I, I asked him if I could use this and I ended up using this for the the panels. So you can see below if you scroll down on my channel you, you can see the panels have some of this art too. And also on other things he made some of these. These are also just random things. Uh, that he made out of the microphone and my cats. So something we, exactly, exactly. Something we talk that was very important about making my cats was Taz is mucho pelo, a lot of hair, whereas uh, Freya doesn't have a lot of pelo, a lot of hair, no pelo. And yeah, just some cool stuff. Bad cat. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
And so let's go into this, which is the commission. So we started with this photo. Okay, so this is like how more or less how my setup look. That's about it. And the idea was, okay, how do we make this into a picture? So this was our first conversation. This is me telling him what the idea was, okay? So here on one, I'm explaining <clears throat> what was my first BRB or how my BRB works today. You know, I have this gallery, I put BRB on a corner and I, I have the shed. And number two is, is my setup on how, how I play. And so that's the camera, the, the game and all that. And so I want to change the BRB into something like this. So I can put, like, use my screens for stuff. And I'm like sitting here. And, and there was some ideas about how can I see it. You know, so I was saying I'm I'm alright with being the one on the on the left here. I don't really care about not showing myself very much. And so yeah, I could use this as a BRV, but we're not gonna do that. So this is like the first sketch. And we're talking about the space of work and how much of the picture like the, the field of view, I guess. Then we got this. This is more work. And you can already see some initial ideas. So one of the things I wanted was to increase, to decrease the field of vision because I wanted more close up, even though this looks cool. I wanted since the screens are not too big, I want them closer. And so we make the screens bigger and put me more close to the camera. And then the next one is this. So this, uh, you went for a little bit of like uh, black and white and like shadows. To evaluate some ideas. And this one is funny because here, I actually look, this looks like my sister. This is almost a portrait of my sister, my big sister. The The face is really, really close to her. <laughs> I don't know if he noticed that because I actually didn't mention, but it, it changed later. So these are some of my comments later. So I got this and then I explained, okay, so now that we have the general setup, let's put some stuff into it. So we got Tas down here, which is Pelua, which is Harry. Uh we got Freya right there. There's the mug, uh some controllers, microphone, you know, and where where the stuff is. And then so it goes here. So you, you can see that slightly difference in the face. This is basically my sister. And this is a little bit more me. It's still not me. I think the next one is more me. And I also ask for tights. So now I have tights. So yeah, here it's taking a lot of form already. And the next one is this, so this is like some general cleaning or later coloring. So this is where I think this is like kind of the final form I got on my face that I really like. I I don't really know if it looks like me or not. I don't care, but I like how this looks. And that's like the last iteration of the face pretty much. And yeah, this is like kind of more final, I, I, or I guess not final, but final in the general design, of course. Looks like so much work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's actually a lot of work. So then there is some general coloring again with shadows and such. And then some adjustments. 
here. Uh, we move some stuff because I I told him that at least for me it's very unnatural to not to have my hands hovering playing. I actually always put my hands in my legs and even while it's such a small detail, I feel like this feels a little bit more natural. Um, there's some little details here and there. There's more hair on the cats. You can see the difference. Task has a lot more hair. <laughs> there you go. And then there was another cleaning to go into color. The cat lamp thingy. Yeah, exactly. That's also important. Right there. And so the last clean into the first color layer. And here, my cats are, are great. <laughs> but then they're going to get some color. And this is like almost final color. And then I asked for some like small details, like if we can put something in the mug and maybe if we could do something with the games. And so here there's some adjustments. There's my, my sign is here on the mug, even though I don't have this, I kind of want this. <laughs> That's my sign. And there was some stuff here. We're going to come back to that. And this is the last final, and then the final final. I think that's the final. Yeah, that's the final final. So there's actually like eternal there. It's very subtle, but I I think it captures the essence of eternal pretty much. Super subtle, and it's just cleaner in general. Like, kind of reminds me of this thing, you know, on Millie, when you have the table with all the trophies, and there was uh, this thing on the background that had all the consoles. It reminds me of that. The cat lamp is extremely important. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, these actually are pretty much the same colors I have. Yeah, it's the same colors I have, actually. And that's the Hori. Hori controller. My Trinitron. The cat lamp. Microphone. The camera. Everyone's here. Even even the, the Xbox. The bad controller still is here because I play Spelunky thanks to that. So it deserves it. And that's me with, with Freya. And this is a dress I don't have. And I would love to have, actually. <laughs> it was kind of a combination of different clothes. Different references I get him. For clothing. And that's Tass. But shoulder button. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's out of the picture. Yeah, and there's, there's a, a tree, too, on, on the window. Because that's how my window looks like. And yeah, so that's... So they my my idea was to put everything here, and that's, that's what I ended up doing. So we come back here. There you go. So I fit the BRB gallery on my monitor and I fit games and socials on the on the CRT. And I, I did that with a it's like a plugin. It's a plugin for OBS that allows you to do 3D uh rotations on sources. And so I adjusted to the perspective of the thing. 
with some numbers. <laughs> yeah, and I <laughs> I needed I wanted to play to put one game between every social, and so I was missing one game. There was two socials that were together, and so I thought, okay, let's put this shit then. <laughs> let's put Mario and Luigi, whatever, just to fill that space. <laughs> I mean, I do have the record on that. <laughs> I was blown away when I first saw it. It's really good. <laughs> the most important speed game. It, it might be a, the most known. Just because <laughs> of being a bootleg of a more famous game. Yeah, the 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 PV I got on that was was exciting actually. Like I was behind the entire run, and then I came back on the last level, and with the fucking M two music, M M P two music. Still not my greatest run. My greatest run is definitely my Opus Pocus. Episode one easy. Forget it. Yeah, and after that, maybe my hybrid heaven, any percent, in terms of luck, at least. Like, I, I can't really say how good my execution was. I wanted to see it again. But it's an RNG I'm not getting, like... Unless I come back to the game, like, full-time. For a month. Or two. I remember trying to calculate the probability, but it's kind of hard. First of all, like, the hardest part is because we don't actually have the drop chance of items. But if you assume that every item has the same probability, then you can kind of calculate it. Still tricky. Thank you for the good luck. We'll see if we get a, a run, like, at least up to War 4. <laughs> Where, you know, because in War 4, I can lose the run due to RNG. But everything before that, it's like, pretty much my fault. I say pretty much, just because of, you know, cycles. We can also blame me about that, I guess. Oh. Okay. Forget it. <laughs> Stop risen on early parts. Who does that? <laughs> yeah. It's this, like, 
a Yakuza tutorial or what? Yeah, and after after War 4, it's also kind of... It's on me. Like after Dark, actually. Like for, for that one. And that's rough, because... Uh, War 5... Even though in general, it's like shorter levels. Kinda. Like on average. There's some very difficult parts. Especially among the last levels. But yeah, actually the longest levels in the game aren't worth three. You know, talking about speedrun strats. Yes, finally did this part like you should. But yeah, the main reason why I I am resetting so much is because contrary to Eternal, for instance, on Eternal, you know, on any percent, I was able to. You know, be... Come on. Um, like, on the last route, I could be five minutes behind. Or, let's say, three minutes behind. And still PV if I get, you know, Roberto skip first try. There is nothing like that in this game. I need to beat myself on a lot of fronts. And... It's just too useful to leave the first two wars with a good time. Because I'm most likely gonna lose a, a lot of that in War 3. So even though I can save two minutes, you know, on, on the last world. I can, like, if I don't play that good, I'm gonna be three minutes behind the last world, you know? So that's the thing. You know, the big upside of this game is that the first world music is a jam, yeah. Agree. And I think the early game of this game is more fun to run than the early game of Eternal, for instance. You know, like, Pius and Elia. I'd rather play War 1 and 2 on this game. Although, to be fair, that, that would be like, only War 1, I think, would be that. War 2 feels more like Anthony. When's that gonna work again?
one day I have to do some serious work on landing sledge. To fully understand how it works. Wait, what are we talking about? Ooh, I got double? Okay. Forget it. Some absurd amount of time to dark. I can't even die on dark. It's just that... Like, the thing is, I, I don't just want to be me. <laughs> Honestly, I want a good run. And I, I, I'm, I don't mean that as of, I want to be TAP's run. If I can do that, oh yes. That'll be a dream, but I'm not counting on that. I, I just want... I want a good run without deaths, too. I don't want to walk out of this game saying the war record has a death. Yeah. Back up. Takes you away. Yeah. It's also a statement because, you know, both DAP's run and Chance's run doesn't have any deaths on the last PV. I know it's, it's special moves, but still. Like you're invincible about half of the run, I guess. <laughs> but still, you can still die. There's a lot of insta kills in the game. Regardless. And just run keepers in general. Oh, that was pretty good. Finally got that with CS3D.
No. Ah, oh, sucker. I hate this button. The hitbox is very deceiving because of the tutorials that are too close. Yeah, the biggest thing here is that every dead is a lot of time. That's also why one, like, I don't want just a deathless because of, you know, there is there is the statement of not dying in the run, but it's also like every dead can be a lot of time, depending on where you die. Like, I can probably get the run I want quote-unquote, with a death on dark. If it's a very fast de death, it might still be alright. But a death at the end of any level, it's too much. Or like in the middle of a level. Like the one on the last run. What is Magical Journey? I'm actually gonna play this out. The old any percent before Ace got fun. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. I don't actually know. I mean, I don't actually want to know how it works. <laughs> I was just asking what it was. <laughs> Okay, give me a good vampire and we can... I can deal with this one. I love this thread. I see. Too much things. Too many things. Or your chancy. How's it going? Welcome to Reset Nation. Got the glitch sound.
Fuck you. And it's gonna be a little bit weird. I'm gonna have to switch the dialogue. Please. Just emergency. Oh, don't worry. We're kind to immigrants on Reset Nation. Everyone belongs here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Take bad runs. good no fuck until then i went too far with olaf could have been a gold is can dogs even eat garlic but he's not a dog he's a possum or a wombat or a deer Hamster. <laughs> He's a capybara. A chinchilla. A guinha. Kangaroo. Didn't want to yum there. Loud. Threw me off a little bit. Okay. 
Maybe a Platypus? Yeah. That's how it works. Does anyone know how a Platypus sound like? Maybe you do? I have no idea. Grrr. I see. How are you doing, Jonas? It's funny because, you know, onomatopoeias are actually different depending on where you live. Even though they are based on the sound that supposedly the animal does, right? And yet, they're still culture dependent. Like Cox, for instance. <laughs> you know, the, the chicken. Um, on Chilo, we say kikiriki -ki -ki as the sound of the cock. Ooh, that's not great. Uh, but I heard. I'm not entirely sure, don't quote me on this, but I heard that Germans say Rishkiki instead. Which sounds better for me, like it, it's more similar to the actual sound that cocks do. When they sing, because you know they have this very guttural part, the... Something like that. But, but not that... That height, that was more of a peon, maybe? We say... Kikilidki. Well, that's very close to... To Kikiriki. Why are you doing there, Olaf? I hate you! I didn't press A? I was like, what is this swap? Why are you going up, camera? Alright, whatever. How is that so- No, I'm not doing that again. No, you gotta pay for that. If you sub to the channel, I might do it again. Wrong side. Please, please, please. Oh. Uh. What a sagger. We'll have two sons for it. Wait, where'd you German? I think you were German, right? Or not, Chansey? Is it on speedrun.com? Let's find out. No, you don't have... You don't have your flag. Danich? Oh, I see. Strong arm? I don't know what, what that is. You are poor out of prime stuff. It's it's all good. It's all good. that about Chansey? Well, now you know. Never ask. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, it definitely looked like you had an accent, but I had no idea from, from where. From time to time, you can see Bylog suffering. There. Right there. 
Look at all the pain right there. I'm gonna increase like two degrees on the AC. That's the look of Joe. I don't know about that. <laughs> there is actually, you know, there is an interesting <laughs> that just remind me of an, a study. There's a study that was evaluating the look of people with when on orgasm and comparing that, like, I think it was some kind of AI thing. An AI that compared the look of, you know, joy or whatever after orgasm with pain. Like the look of pain and the subtle differences between those two, like actual pain, you know, like you're hurting yourself versus because, you know, sex can have a little bit of pain. I'm not talking about bad sex. I'm talking about normal sex. Sometimes it, it's still like, I don't know, whatever. But the thing is, they're similar in in some places, right? And so it was a study, like, I think they made an AI that help uh, differentiate those subtle differences in the face. Something like that. I'd say it has less of an accent than most Germans. It's for sure neither British nor American. Yeah. Yeah, it can be a lot of pain for some people, yeah. Of course. Rich Kiki. It's like the onomatopoeia for for love. Like I will never understand this <laughs> this thing. Is it Brazilians? I think that grind love with case. And it's also funny just making the, the slight difference. Like we have both ha 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 in Spanish and in English, but one is with H and ours is with with J because that's with our ha sound. Yeah, it would be like ja ja ja. <laughs> ja ja ja. Throws you out when listening? Really? You mean with with names like Javier or things like that? Or, or, you know, like, some people actually call me, don't call me Jane, they call me Hane. Because that's how you would pronounce it exactly in Spanish. Ooh. Okay. The H? Oh, but the H doesn't even sound. Is that what throws you off? The H being silent? Like the D on Django? I see. 
Yeah, there were some people in the past that wanted to get rid of that. Ah, uh, what am I doing? I mean, that works. Oh, sure. Some people that wanted to make the Spanish language a little bit more efficient. Also getting rid of um, the G sound and just replace it with J in most words. And that's how we got Ingenieria with J instead of G. And you can see that on the front of Chile University because it's from that time. learning Danish always have issues with the sounds of our D. Yeah, I have no idea how that sounds. I think I, I barely heard any Danish, actually. At some point, I kind of want to see a Danish girl in the movie. I don't know if they talk Danish there, though. Because you know how it is. You see, like, a movie from... I don't know. From French, from French, from France or whatever, and they talk English. I don't know about this movie. French land, <laughs> exactly. Whatever, dude. Whatever you say. I even took the extra one. have been the Ness in blockbuster movies. There's one streamer who speak Danish on stream all the time. It's from Warrior Games, I don't remember his Twitch account name though. I don't know if we're getting any darks today. I look a little bit darks, but the game doesn't want to. On second thought, I, I don't know if this qualifies as a crusade. It's more of a bustier, I guess. Like maybe it's just a definition thing. But I think some people say that her says <clears throat> only go until below the boobs, like until here. Not qualified to answer that. Fuck.
Okay. Am I dead? I'm dead. I'm not dead. But I'm losing a lot of time. Confused about this beer? Makes a sour Ipa. What is Ipa? Indian Pale Ale. Yeah, I don't know enough about beers. To be part of that conversation. Indiana Pale Ale. Can't really trade this. One with with different meals. Yeah, in Chile, there's like the tradition of having vino tinto. I don't really know. I'm just gonna call it like black wine. Is that correct in English? I don't know. Or color wine uh, with beef. And then vino blanco, white wine, I guess, with fish. And, and that's all I know about it. Sure. I know nothing, yeah. I mean, me too. I don't like wine, so... <laughs> sugger. This sugger is killing me every day. Not this time. It is always white wine with fish, but why though? What is it about that? It's just like a chemical, a good chemical combination or something like that? Or it's just cultural? For, for, for example, I do see a difference taking salad stuff before and then sweet stuff. Like, for example, if I'm eating, you know, I'm being a pig and I'm eating potato chips, but I also want to eat chocolate, you know? If I eat the chocolate first and then the potato chips, I have some trouble later. You know, with on my stomach. Like, it hurts. But if I eat the potato chips first, that doesn't happen. And I feel so... There, there's, there might be a chemical thing that... Some, something's going on. So I'm thinking maybe there's something to do with that, with the wine. Like, it's, some combinations are better than others, I don't know. Fuck you, double time loss. I wine is better for all purposes. Yeah. My opinion is wine sucks. <laughs> but that's just me. I'll have water.
But it's good because that means more wine for you. If I'm not drinking it. Oh my god, oh my god. Brain hurts. I'm told that this is an habituation thing. Red, oh, that's, that's the name, red wine. Yeah, I heard that a lot with a lot of food. Now you need to get used to it. Sometimes, this is just me sometimes, I feel like that's a little bit of a Stockholm syndrome. Because you don't say that about every, like, you don't hear people saying that about chocolate, for instance. Even though there's people that just don't like chocolate, you know? You mad people. But, no, no, it's fine. That If you don't like it, it's more for me, so it's great. Uh, but you just don't hear anyone saying, you need to get used to chocolate. No, chocolate is just good. Or, or maybe you don't like it, but you don't need to get used to it. And so what is, what is it about that? Like, what is it necessary for you to get used to something? You can't just not like it, but I don't know. That's just me, because I'm... I like to whine. <laughs> about wine. <laughs> or about taste in general. So weird. I was trying to do the other strat, but then I got a little bit confused. Like, I guess I, I can do a similar metaphor with music. There's definitely music that... ...is not good immediately. You need to hear it quite a while. But I, I don't know if that has ever happened to me, like... For example, there's sometimes... Like, I remember the first time I, I heard Mars Volta. I was like, this is amazing. But I just don't want to hear this right now. Like, I feel like I... I want to wait a little bit more until I feel this more. But this is actually amazing. It's just that I'm not kind of in the correct spot right now. In my life. For this kind of music. But I always find it amazing. And then years later, when I was a fucking depressive... Uh, early transition girl. It resonated with me so much. <laughs> okay, you teleport. Do it. Good. That is a lot of shad. I'm happy for you. Or sorry for your loss. <laughs> Whatever happened. Let's see what's going on. Heavily salted candy too. Yeah, I've never tried salty chocolate, I think. Like, maybe something similar. Like, something that 
It's not supposed to be salty, but it ended up being salty. Um, sour chocolate, though. Is it sour? No, no, I don't think it's sour. How do you say amargo in English? I don't know if it's, I think sour is just something different. Isn't sour like acido? I don't, I don't actually know. But you know, it's, it's like the the actual name, bitter. There you go, bitter chocolate. Like the original chocolate, supposedly. Like chocolate itself, like cacao, is bitter, right? We're just used to have a lot of sugar on chocolate, right? I percent chocolate. Yeah, there you go. I like that one very much. When I can. Okay, when I combine it with sweet chocolate, I think it's the best combination ever. When you take both at the same time, it's so beautiful. Alone, I also like it, but I think both together, ice is just amazing. Get out of here, dude. I bought 70% cacao. I thought it was sweet. <laughs> yeah, but you should you should try like if you hate it so much, if you don't want to get rid of it, try mixing it with sweet chocolate. It's worth it. And if you still don't like it, fair enough. I mean, that, that was probably long ago. Chocolate, it's good. Yeah. That's my kind of opinion. There's some awesome milk chocolate on Chile, like from the south of Chile. Ooh. Sick. Ah, oh, fuck. I did that swap a lot. You saw it on my input. We all saw it on the inputs. I'm going safe on this. Uh, 
Uh, this is a big fat Chungus time loss. At least we are a good night. It doesn't look that bad on the timer, but I actually lose a lot of time. Like I could have saved more. Back up. He sounds like he took damage, but he doesn't take damage. Really weird. my feet So much. That's such a cool trick. Yeah. 
I really love that that exists. This level used to be like big pain. One of the longest levels back then. Now it's not even that long. Again? Why again? Why am I punished like this? This stupid level. No, don't do it again. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. Okay. You're alive. For a little bit. Yeah, I mentioned that I hit this level, right? We got that. Too much. Too much again? Whatever. Let's do it slow. Really? What are we doing here, friend? What are we doing there, friend? Oh, it's because I move all at first. Makes sense. For that strat to be safe, I don't move all at first. Then the pirate is trapped. On the left side. Forgot that. Come back to skeleton. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Who was that? Was that Artanis? Direct my wrath. Indeed. Yeah, I think it was Artanis. Yes, executor. Almost sure he's in Chinese. I love Protoss voice actors and the filters they use. <sighs> I don't know if I have time for another one. I mean, I have. But, I don't know if I have strength for another one. <laughs> yeah, no, Hans can, can, can rest. Or <laughs> you have to charge them, yeah. Uh. 
So I have a, a funny story. There, um, I was on um, some days ago. A friend invited me to um, to a bar because he was in Chile. Like he, he was a, a friend from school, um, and like he he's now living on Italy. There you go, Italy. So he was in Chile. So. He, he wanted to do something with friends. Okay, so that that's not really the story. I mean, that's that's the story, but that's not the fun part of the story. The fun part of the story is there were some people I didn't know, you know. So there's this typical part with people you don't know where you talk about something, right? And there's this part where you talk about what you do, right? And so back then. I used to have this running joke because it happened to me many times that I was, you know, I used to study astronomy and I mean, I, I finished it actually, but I never work as an astronomer. So I'm technically an astronomer, but I never work as one. And so a lot of the time when people ask like, what do you study or what do you study? I was like astronomy. Oh, la oh nice. So you are, you're a chef and all that. I'm like, no? But you said gastronomy. No, 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 astronomy. Oh, okay, okay. And so that was something that happened a lot to me. But now I don't say astronomy anymore, okay? Now I say either, depending on how I feel, I say either video game developer, I'm barely that, or streamer. And so this time I said streamer. I'm a streamer, okay? And so there was this couple. It was a couple. Like a guy and a girl. And the girl was like very excited after she she hear me say streamer. Gamer. I'm a gamer. Exactly. That's my job. Um and so she was very excited and all that. And is it too difficult to do it on during the pandemic and all that? And I was like, yeah, I mean I do it from my house and all that. Oh <laughs> and then the guy was like, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, she probably does it on these platforms and all that. And the girl was looking at the guy, you know, they were like boyfriend, girlfriend. I was like looking like, oh, do you know a lot about this, don't you? And and I was like very confused, like what's going on here? And and then another girl that from from the table asked me like, oh, and do you, do you win a lot of money and all that? And I was like, no, you don't really make money with this, you know? <laughs> And she was like, oh, that's weird. Like, I always heard you you can win a lot with that. And then I, I realized they heard stripper, not a streamer. <laughs> and that's why, you know, because then the girl was saying, like, I have no problem you knowing a lot about strippers, but you could tell me, you know? <laughs> I know, he was talking about Twitch, you know? <laughs> about streamers <laughs> and all that. A good show. Yo, holy shit. Yo, Bakuman, thank you so much. You're the MVP. For the soap and Jonas, look at that. Enjoy your emotes. I'm overcome with emotion. No! That wasn't meant to happen! Even though that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> yeah, so that happened. So I'm not a stripper, I guess. <laughs> Do you strong arm him? <laughs> Yo, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You actually make this happen too. Because uh, that's exactly what we needed. For the sub goal. It's right there, you can see it there. Now it's it should say 13. So now I gotta do a, a, a tutorial on this category. Now I'm a stripper, exactly. I knew it. <laughs> That's why I always talk about, you know, those, those things.
Things like wings, exactly. I'm a gastronomer and a stripper, yes. I never work as a gastronomer though. No, but you know, the gastronomer thing was always funny to me because I respect chefs, you know? Like, I, I've never been able to cook very much. I'm very bad at it. Uh, I can enjoy food. And it's, it's cool. And there's people that have a lot of skill on it. The one that I didn't like was when people told me, Oh, you're an astrologer. And I'm like, nope. No, 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 that, no, 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 no. Working as a chef is fucking awful? Yeah, I heard that, though. And I guess that's why I respect them even more. You know, because they have it hard. Like, the working conditions can be pretty hard. But yeah, I, I do remember this time, like, oh, you're, you're astronomer. So you know a lot about the... A lot about the zodiac and their horoscope. No, 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 no. What? No, no, no. What's your sign? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we don't do those. That's illegal. Forty-five Celsius heat. Yeah, yeah, no, that's crazy. Like, oh, I talked twice. Weird. Like, even when I see people like cooking, you know, on a house, like sometimes with friends, someone's cooking with the oven, like super, super hot. I'm like, Jesus, this kitchen, so hot. Like, yeah, imagine that every day. There might be an Amber Constellation. I wouldn't be surprised. There's 88 of them, so... I don't know if there is a Pandora constellation, but there might be like a Pandora moon, maybe? Isn't that the one on Avatar called Pandora? I don't know if that's based of a solar system moon, I have no idea. Avatar as of blue people, not vendors. Avatar as of Pocahontas. I mean Avatar. It's a moon of Saturn, but it, it is actually a moon of Saturn called Pandora? Or is it a fictional moon of Saturn? Because I feel like if you're going to colonize Saturn, wouldn't it be better to colonize Titan? Just because of the size. It might not be better, actually. I don't I have no idea. It is? Okay. I wonder why they named Pandora. After a Saturn moon, though. Apparently it's very different on the surface of it from most of Saturn other rocky moons. Hmm, maybe.
Late. Thanks. Well, the deer. That works. No, dude. Hurry and miss the second jump. Jank. for the best. What are gacha games? Like I heard that term a lot, but I actually don't know what it is. games how does that work like like that okay Genshin Impact? <clears throat> Wait, really? Isn't that like an MMO? So it's not a genre, it's more of a concept? I'm reading like half of your comments, by the way. So it's extra funny. Monetization concept? I see. Like loot boxes. 
to get a chance, so pay to win. Or pay, pay to play, even. But it's like free. Yeah, like I feel... Isn't like every MMO a pay to win, technically? Suck. Really? Okay, now I can read. Like, do you know any MMO that is not pay to win? I don't know any. Because otherwise, you, you can't even make the game, I feel. It's sad. What is not a gacha game? Okay. Pay to win as of... If you pay, you would have better stuff. They need to be potentially free to play. Like, for example, if you have infinite time and you are like very obsessive, you can keep up with the people that pay. But there's still like people that put less time than you and have more stuff. So it's a pay to win. Regardless of you win or not. <laughs> It's the concept of paint winning. Or at least to keep up. Not always, mo mostly yes, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm legitimately asking because I'm just familiar with Ragnarok. With MMOs. And Ragnarok has this subtle thing with donations, you know, where you get some, you can get some broken items. That you, you can usually also get with side quests or in-game money. But you can't really compare you know, paying a couple bucks on donation with hours and hours of grinding. So... Give you a taste of the pay stuff, so you might consider buying it. Catching games will it mean like... It's fleet to breath first, and then could you... Okay. And turn one degree more or maybe just turn it off actually Biggest thing with them is that it's like <sighs> paying for a random thing that might be what you want. Okay, that kind of sucks. Yeah, because on like on Ragnarok, you you know what you're paying for. Like card games, card games have that thing. Like trading card games, you know, you you say. Like that, that is a, a big Hearthstone might technically be in one. Like I feel like every trading game is that. If you play it, you know, buying cards, right? Like the exception would be if you can play it on an online platform where you have access to any card, then no. But like Magic, for instance, stuff like that, or Yu-Gi-Oh, if you play it on LAN and you don't have access to any card, then there is like a big, big fucking pay entrance. Gatekeeping any player.
Exactly, yeah. My StarCraft game is not a technically not a trading card game because you don't trade cards. You have every card. You just make decks. It's more of a board game. In a way. We still gonna play that? Yeah. You must construct more pylons. You must construct additional pylons. No renowned minerals. How are you doing, Crip? Welcome to Reset Land. We don't have cookies yet. But we are working in listations to get some cookies. B any two? Nice. You got it this time. Yo toy piola. I'm doing fine. Suck my wing. You remember my mistake? Of course. Of course I remember that. I have good memory. Most of the time. Sometimes I brag about it. Like when I memorize 125 digits of E. For like a month. Then I forget them. Not flutter. Winner. Reset line one was on DOS. Yeah, that's what they say. The composer was the same as Mega Man X. Don't kill it. Don't be a sucker. Some interesting improvisation. Oh, God. This is the run. I don't know about that. We'll see.
I can show you a little something. So the other day I did two load tats to compare this time save right here. Okay, so this is dark. So, yeah, door clip. Yeah. So, this is one door clip against two door clips. So, on one door clip, if the. Like. It kind of depends on when the. where the. the monkey is. Like, with this monkey, you can. I think you can either do one or two. But it doesn't really matter. Like, if the monkey is too far away, you can't do two door clip. It's impossible. Because you're gonna hit the monkey. So this is one door clip. So it's around there. So he's there. After that door. And then we go here, there, and by log. And then there's that. Yeah, you can remove him, yeah. But the, the whole idea is that... You don't want to waste time on the monkey. So, it's about that time. And then... Stop. Uh, and let's do double dark clip. Yeah, like, I guess, yeah, if the monkey is too close and you don't want to deal with it, like, with this monkey, you can do double door clip and it's fine, but if you don't want to, like, deal with it at all, you can kill, I guess, with Bylog. You don't want to go too far, because if you see the door, you're, it's done. It only works when you haven't seen the door yet. So you would jump here with Bylog and then do the switch boost with Olaf. Because you need to do a switch boost. That's the thing. To to go that far. So that little stop, I don't know if it's mandatory. Uh but I have a really difficult time as of I couldn't do it without the stop. Okay? So the um, the window is this ledge. I don't remember, like, it's on my stream. I think it was, like, 15 frame. I mean, 15 pixels or so. Horizontal pixels. With a very tight um, switch boost. Maybe cycle perfect, I don't remember. Works perfectly with 2C. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know. I feel like you should be able to do it. But, uh, yeah, no idea. But yeah, it's around here, but it works better if you actually stop for a tiny bit. And then do the switch boost. And you see he's all the way here. So I go back, he does that. And then... Uh, in your case, you can just jump. With Bylog, I guess. You don't need to go back with Eric, so it might save more time in special moves. So the time save is and this is on dark. It's like three point eight seconds, more or less, on this category. How did you got so far? <laughs> um I think yeah, it could be that too. Like, I think nothing is loaded, probably. So, you see, there's like... So he goes through the door, and the door is also not loaded. And the thing, there's this little ledge. Like, if nothing is loaded, you see, this second part is lower. And so he's continuing the boost all the way. 
until here. And like sometimes you land in like in a different spot, like where Olaf is more or less. You can land there before the door. And and then you need to adjust to the other strat because like Eric is down there. Yeah, and it's pretty weird. Like, if you don't get the perfect switch boost, he doesn't even, like, he doesn't even hit the door. He actually gets stuck in the key. In the keyhole. It's really weird. I don't really understand how this works. Um, Like, t take a look at this. Um, It's similar to this. Like, if you go to keys... Let's go all the way here with Olaf, so I can do a... Uh... Okay, so I haven't seen the door, but I see... I saw the key. Uh, but whatever. Look where he lands. And I'm not cancelling anything, like I'm not cancelling the boost. You can see on my inputs that I'm I'm not unpressing right. So he should hit this thing, you know. But instead he lands like there was a wall in the keyhole. Same thing happens on for one if your switch is like out of place. That one went farther. Yeah, it's I don't get it. <laughs> Could be the slope too. Like maybe it's something about the slope instead. But on 4 1 that also happens. Forget it. And yeah, I try every other door. But most doors have the problem that you see them before. You can't even try it. And the ones that you still don't see, there's either not enough space for that, or it's not like an Eric level. Like it's the same with this switch boost, for example. Like look how far he goes, if you get it correctly. It was kind of hard for me to replicate it. <laughs> yeah. It's tricky. Like, you need to start the boost before the tutorial and then switch immediately after it. Kinda. And keep holding right with the next character. I think you can also do it after the tutorial. But my RTA strat is, I do it before so I can just match Y for the tutorial and then change as fast as I can. Like there I was a couple pixels off. But then RTA speaking, you can just move Eric. But yeah, on the IL, I got the, the perfect one. Weird. 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 Forget it. So the input display, yeah. Very useful. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's... I feel like that's too late. He's gonna be a little bit behind. There you go. Yeah, I mean, you help, anyways. It's always good to have people just looking around. Because I, I can't imagine this game being super pain. With the cycles. Do you these do not have three? Yeah, yeah, that would be super cool. Three controllers. Would you run three controllers? No way, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just asking. And you never know. Not alone. Yeah, we could, we could, with three controllers, we could play, you know, like, you play two controllers and I play the other one. <laughs> Try that with Mike. Something I am curious about, if you want to look for it, Amber, is if I lag the game when I'm spamming X, like this, with that sound. Should like the game? Fuck. Sucks. Yeah, but still, because I, I really like to spam X for text, so I don't input an action, you know? An undesired action. But if I'm doing that, I'm, I'm spamming sounds, you know? I like to do that at the beginning of levels for messages, text. You should be alright. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's no sounds there, but the thing is, for example, um... At the beginning of worlds, when your characters are falling, you can press X and it sounds, and there's still not text up, but you can like match, buffer a match for the text, right? So in a situation like that, for example, am I losing frames? You know, that's that's the question.
sucker. That's <laughs> stupid message. Is it actually checking your inputs? Is it though? Because you can press start too. You can pause during that. <sighs> Why? Why do you like to go down? Going down. another one two years and you're gonna st you can still bone just barely before you can I see I mean there's a fair amount of chillians in my channel from time to time isn't it I try to be fancy and do the post cancel thread Forget it. because I was quite behind That said, I feel like every Chilean that sees my channel doesn't really vote for the other guy. Ow. <laughs> I'll fight them? Yeah, I'll fight them too, but the thing is, not everyone tells you. That's the thing. Sometimes you just don't know. I might have convinced someone in the the other day. There was an, an a classmate, not the friend that was from Italy, another classmate. Um that she said that she was going to vote for cast. I think we convince her. I'm I'm not sure. Or at least to maybe both, you know, uh, for neither. Hopefully. Okay, I don't want to lose this daily, so I'm, I'm stopping TLB2 here, but I'll do a VRB and do it daily. I have a lot of runs on this game, look at that. This is more than Eternal, I think. Is it? No, it's not. Not yet. Oh, interesting. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was better than mine. You were just so... Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I 
differently so it Okay, I'm not gonna put this one again. I just want to see if I save it. Didn't. Uh, I think I have one on my computer. Computers. Oh, I have a song named Pain. Look at that. It's not the other. It's not Pain by Le Destroy. It's another one. All right, um, be right back with spelunking daily and whatnot. 